Why, hello, and welcome to Craft Tasting, everybody. Well, welcome back to the basic premises. I'm going to reach into this box, pull out one random beer, and give it a try. You can obviously see what kind of beer are on there, but I'm not going to know which one I pull out, just because it's going to be a blind thing. Y'all ready for this? Today we have the Dude Shilling. What is this? Oh, it is a pale ale. Perfect. Yeah, an East Van original. Dude Shilling Pale Ale. There we go. By R&B Brewing, of course. Yeah, beer number two out of the collection. And I am liking the color. Um, keeping very, uh, obviously, uh, keeping up with the basic style, you know, that they were going with. The kind of hipster theme, which is kind of neat. I kind of like this art the sign in the woods and the crows in the background. That's kind of cool. I like that. So this is a 5.2% alcohol on the alcohol by volume scale. It is unfiltered, all natural. What else do you got to say for yourself, guys? Laid back and hoppy. I like it. I like it. <clears throat> Carefully handcrafted in small batches from our East Van microbrewery. East Van, store cold, drink fresh, original 697, vegan, blah, 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 blah. They don't really have much to say about this. Carefully handcrafted. Yeah, we know. Apparently, it's hoppy and happy. Happy, happy and hoppy and laid back. Laid back and hoppy. It's probably how happy too. I know, I just squirted myself in the face, you know. Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> Christ. Let's check out this wonderful coloration. Oh, it's golden. Oh, it's so golden. Oh, look at that. Mmm. 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 Oh, yes. That's liquid gold right there. Mm hmm Smell the hops. You can already tell they're leaning into the uh, IPA world. Cheers, everyone. Dude chillin', I hope you are. Wow. That's nice. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, it definitely smells fruitier than it is. I don't know, when I taste it, I don't notice fruit, but when I smell it, I can smell fruit, which is funny. All right, first thing I notice is the bite of the hops. Um, that citrusy taste from the hop, that bitter bite. Mm. Very, very much a prominent feature within the taste of this bad boy. I'm kind of enjoying that right now. In the background, you can definitely taste the rest of the ale. You could taste the wheat and the other kinds of grain that may have been used in this. But as far as a general taste, I, I'm gonna say like it's kind of a it's kind of an IPA, but like no fruit, you know. It's like a a very much not sweet, but just as bitter IPA, which is interesting. It's a nice little choice. Not bad, not bad, not bad. I think of a rating for this. I'm really starting. I'm I'm really feeling a. A four out of six on this one, to be honest with you. Just because it's not amazing as far as like taste and uniqueness. I do find it interesting um, that they were able to, with the way they were able to pull it off, makes it taste kind of like an IPA, but you know, without the signature IPA kind of taste and. That's that's kind of nice. I like that. So I mean, I'm giving this I'm giving this a four. Definitely above average, but not quite in the top, you know. And that was it. Dude, chilling by R and B Brewing. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Please subscribe to my channel and like this video. And guess what? Because next week I'm coming back with another beer of these. I will see try next. All right? All right. Sounds good. You guys have a good day. 
Drink responsibly, and don't drink and drive, you fucking nuts. Bye!